Well, I guess today's the day you guys finally get to hear from me and understand what's been going on. I just got home. It's like it's like 1.30 in the morning, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And I feel like tonight's finally the night to, to make this video because I feel like tonight was the night that so many, so many chains in my life were broken. So many chains in my life were broken. And... I've, I've, like, the amount of times I've sat down here trying to talk and just create a coherent thought, a coherent sentence, a coherent paragraph to describe and explain what has been going on. And I feel like it's only responsible for me in this position to to be transparent and to let you guys know that I am a human and I go through stuff. I go through stuff just like you do. But the problem is here, I, I just want to be authentic and I want to speak from the heart. And unfortunately, I feel like I feel like some cuss words are going to come out. Um, so I'm sorry. Like if you're my mom or dad watching this, if you're my mom or dad watching this, or if you're Jake, you know the crap. I've freaking gone through these past few months, so please, like, don't watch this. Like, if you go to my church, like, don't watch this, please. Like, I, I it's just the only way. I just want to be, like, the only way I can get across the message that I, I need to get across. It just might contain some curse words, so please don't judge me. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just gotta be the thing. Like, it's just got, it's just gotta work. Like, it's, it's just only, the only way this is gonna work. So, like, if you're my mom, like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Um... Uh, but some chains were broken tonight, and I just, I just needed, I got to make this. Like, I, I, this is, I've got to do this. Um, I have, I'm not okay. Uh, I haven't been okay for a while. When, when you're, when you're like your motto that you're known for in your videos, like to entertain people, to make people laugh, to make people happy, is I'm so happy, and you're, you're not happy. You're the complete opposite. Um, it's tough. It's tough to fake. It's tough to put on a persona. Um, yeah, I know. Like, I'm so privileged to be in the position that I'm in. I'm so privileged. I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. I know there's, like, in the grand scheme of things, my problems are nothing. Like, even just this community, man. Like, there's so many people going through such worse things than me right now. But at the same time, I can't, I can't pretend. I, I can't pretend that I, I'm okay because I'm not. Um, so the the second part of this video, so this is a good transition here. The second part of this video is going to be, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, I'll try to not cuss too. Like I probably will. And if you're under, if you, if you get offend, offended by, by bad language, don't, don't watch this because it's just going to happen. It just, it just has to probably eventually. Um, but the second part of this video is going to be, uh, I'm going to make this as short as possible. Second part of this video is going to be probably the most important thing that anybody's ever done for me in my entire life. Uh, my birthday, May 4th, uh, the past few years, I've like just done a stupid little challenge on my channel, a video like the past three, four years, and, and this year, there was nothing. There, You guys know there hasn't been a video like in two, three weeks. I've barely uploaded the last few months. And you know, all the videos suck. Like they're at, they're shit. Like they're at, the videos I made are absolute freaking shit. Uh, let's just be honest. Um, I just can't sit down here and fake it anymore. Like I just can't. Like and, and me trying to fake it was just making things worse for me mentally. Um, but on my birthday this year, I was uh, just not okay. I was. I've never not looked forward to a birthday like this year. Like it, I've never dreaded a day so much in my freaking life, man. Um, I was. I was sitting outside. I got a dog. Zimba. I don't know where he is. He'll probably end up biting my shins by the end of this video. But he's somewhere. I got a dog. He's awesome. You'll meet him eventually. Maybe if he comes in the shot. Like, I don't know. I don't know where he is. But I was sitting outside with my dog on my birthday, and my cousin sent me a, uh, a link. She called me a few times and sent me a link and said, hey, this is your birthday present, but you have to do, you have to promise me you film your reaction as you watch it. I had no idea I had no idea what was about to come. I had I had zero idea, and um, sat down, filmed myself, and little did I know, I was about to watch the most meaningful 
oh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I, like, it, it's a video of a lot of my friends, um, a lot of my friends wishing me happy birthday um, and just, just telling me what I meant to them. And, bro, these last few months, like, there's some things that have happened in my life. I've felt so god dang worthless. I felt so worthless. I felt... I've I've felt unworthy. I've felt not good enough. I've felt confused, alone, like, and just and just to hear things from people that I, I grew up with, and just, just to to know that they they think highly of me. They think j just hearing somebody like people that I care about just. Just knowing that I have so many people that care about me. And I've just felt so alone for so long, man. I've, I've felt so alone. I've, I've just... There's just like... This, this, this mental state that I've been in these last few months. It has literally been the most miserable three months. Maybe four months of my entire life. I've never been so more more confused. I, I mean, I guess the whole entire quarantine stuff, the whole coronavirus stuff, I mean, I guess it has affected me a little bit. It's like not the number one thing, obviously, but I mean, it has had some effect, but um, it's just been so much stuff going on in my personal life that has just caused me to absolutely just completely, in every sense of the word, shut down. And let me tell you, I have been a fucking mess and I say fucking because it's the only word to describe my brain my mental state right now dude these last three months um I've I've probably freaking cried at least 70% of the day and why am I saying this I feel so weird putting this out there like who's gonna watch this my god dang pastor like I don't know like who's gonna see this but it's such a conflicting thought in my brain because like I feel so vulnerable letting you guys know what's been going on but vulnerability is necessary for you to grow as a person and for you guys to see transparency on some i mean i don't know why some of you do but i i do know that there's a lot of people out there that look up to me for what i do and the things that i've done the things i've accomplished and it's so important for you at a young age to understand you more than likely are going to go through the same emotions the same things that I've gone through personally these last few months, and I've gone through a lot in my lifetime, but you are going to be okay because I will. I'm going to come out of this stronger, better, mentally clearer, better in every sense of the word. I'm going to become a better person because of what I've gone through these last few months, and you will too. It might You're not probably going to go through the same exact thing that I've gone through, but you will go through something eventually one day or another. You're going to go through something that will shut you down mentally, shut you down physically, shut you down in every sense of the word, but you will come out of this stronger because I'm telling you guys, for some reason, I was wired in a way to feel pain that I would never wish on my worst enemy. I would never in a million years wish this sort of pain that I feel. For some reason, I'm wired one way or another to feel the way I do. The amount of times throughout my life I've sat on my floor crying myself, telling my mom I wish I was dead, the amount of times I've done that, but I'm still here. Why? Because I'm a fucking warrior. Like, we all are. We all are going to come out of everything we go through, every struggle we go through, we're going to come out of that stronger. Like, so I've gone through this kind of same state every single time where I shut down for months and I, I'm absolutely miserable in every sense of the word. I don't want to be around my family. I don't want to be around my friends. I just want to be alone. And I, every time it happens, I'm like, why the fuck is this happening again? Why? I've gone through this so many times and I was like, dude, I, I thought that was the last time. Every time, I, 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 I thought it was the last time, but every time I go, I've gone through shit for a reason because... I become stronger, I learn something, I become better as a person. And unfortunately, that's how growth happens as a human being. We have to go through shit to become better. We have to go through shit to learn stuff. We've got, we got to go through shit just to get through this life. Because life is weird. Life fucking sucks sometimes. But we're all going to be okay. Like, every single one of us. Like, we're, like I'm going to be okay. Like, I know I am. 
but it's just so hard as a human being with the thoughts that you have and the shit that you go through mentally to understand that I know for a fact I'm going to look back at this three months, four months, five months, a year from now maybe, and I'm going to understand why I went through the stuff that I've gone through. I'm going to understand the growth that I've gone through. I'm going to understand everything that's going to make so much sense to me that all this is absolute pure like miserable hell I've gone through these last few months. I'm going to know why. I'm going to know why and I'm going to be better. I'm going to come out better. I'm going to come out stronger. And I'm just going to become a better person for it, you know? But the reason why this video you guys are going to see and you're going to see how it affected me. Like, never in a million years I think I was going to react to something like that like I did. Like, it meant so much to me. It meant so much to know I have so many people out there do care about me. And I feel so selfish, too, for feeling like this sometimes because I know, like, I have 500,000 subscribers. I have so many people out there, all of you, that 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 care about me. Like, yeah, I know we've never met on a personal level, but, like, I have so many people that care about me. And that's why this video meant so much and why it just killed me. Like, I turned into a freaking baby because... I just, these last few months, I've felt so unworthy, so confused, so just worthless, man. It's literally the most confusing, miserable three, four months of my entire life. But I'm going to be okay. Like, I'm going to be fine. Um, I really feel like this video, me talking about this public publicly to you guys... Um, regardless of who sees this and see, thinks I'm fucking, I don't know, fucking pussy, I don't know. Maybe I am, but I just know I have a responsibility to let you guys know that I'm human. And every single one of us are going to go through stuff, but we're all going to be okay. And I'm telling you, I'm living proof because like, I, I'm not trying to say that my problems are worse than anybody else's. I feel stupid for feeling the way I do for the reasons I do. But like I said, I can't pretend. I can't pretend it doesn't affect me the way I do. And I'm wired in a way that I feel pain so fucking bad. Like, I just, I, I, I literally, it's, it's like so god dang unbearable. That I would not, like the number one person I dislike on this earth, I would not wish on him this kind of pain because it's just... Nobody should experience what I do. And I feel like I, I feel the way I do to let you guys know that you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be just fine. But like I said, I really think I have got over the hump. Uh, like I said, tonight, um, some chains were broken just in my life in general um, that needed to happen. And over these last few weeks, a lot of stuff has happened. If it wasn't for that, if it, like literally, dude, if it wasn't for that birthday video that you're gonna see my reaction to in just a minute, um, I, I don't know where I'd be. Like that literally brought that video brought a dead spirit like back to life like literally my spirit was so dead like and it's just it's so hard to me because like i know i'm a good person like i know i am but you just don't when you're when you're just in the state that i am like you just feel so god dang alone and just knowing that there is just so many people that care about me and love me and just it just means a lot. Um, the one thing, though, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this, I'm not gonna let bad people, I'm not gonna let bad things turn me into a bad person. I'm gonna use. It's the only thing you can do. It's the only thing we can do. Every bad experience that you go through in your life, you've got to turn into a positive. And I feel like, I I, I feel so strongly that all this shit I've gone through mentally and the way I feel the like why I feel so strongly and so fucking hurt when I do, is so I can, I have because I have this platform and I can let you guys know you're gonna be okay. It's so simple and it's so hard to comprehend and understand when you feel the way that I felt and the way that some of you might feel right now. But we're going to be okay and we're both living proof. Why? Because we're still here. We're still here. That's why. We're fucking warriors is what we are. And that sounds so cringy to say, and maybe it is, I don't know, but it's just the case, dude. Like, it's, like, mental health is such a problem. And just 
proof that I'm getting better is the fact that I'm I it's I've been here talking for 18 goddamn minutes and it's still going. I, I've tried to sit down and make this video so many times, so many times, but tonight was finally the night that it just it just happened because it was it happened the way it was supposed to be. I'm just so excited, like in my life in general, to look back at this and just understand why. Like every time I go through a period like this and I'm just so down, like I just look at it five months from then and I'm just like, I'm so glad I went through that because I'm such a better person. And I'm hoping eventually, God willing, <laughs> that it stops and I never have to go through something like this because I'm not going to lie, it fucking sucks dick. Like it, it, it fucking sucks. Like it, it's a god dang awful. But in the time being, like I understand it happens for a reason. And I just hope me and my transparency lets you guys know that you're not alone, man. Like, every, like the, everybody goes through stuff. Everybody does. But the situations that we come across in life, like, it's not, not, it's not all your fault. Like, you, you don't always have control of your situations that, and the things that you have to go through. But we do have control of the way we respond to them. And I feel like it's only, the only way you can make good out of situations like this is to take your growth and positivity that comes out of it and your change that comes out of it because you can't go through something like this and not change. You can't go through something like this and not grow. Um, it's just impossible. It's literally impossible. It, it's the only thing we can do, you know? Um, shit, this is wild, god dang, I'm gonna be okay, um, but there you go, that's, that's what I've been going through, that's, that's why, that's why there's only been a few god dang videos last month or so, but it's, it's all for a reason, everything's gonna be okay, um, I'm hoping sooner rather than later, like, I, I'm hoping, like, this is what just, boom, everything's fine, because, I just, I feel so silly, like, talking about this stuff in front of 500-something thousand people, potentially, but, like, if people I see, see this, like, and they, and they think badly of me, fuck them. Like, fuck them. Like, who are you? Like, who the fuck is that guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck is that guy? Like, everybody goes through shit. It takes, it does take a lot to talk about stuff like this and, and not know who's gonna see this. Like, who's going to see this? Who's going to judge me? Screw you, dude. Like, we all go through bad times. We're all going to be okay. But um, like I said, guys, so the rest of this video is going to be uh, my reaction. Like, I, like th literally, this video is the most, like, probably one of the, like, top ten, top five, maybe top three, maybe top most important thing to me that's ever happened in my life. And this is my YouTube channel. This is my life. I want to document and show you guys what is important to me. So it's kind of long, so I'm probably just going to cut down like the, the most important parts. But um, this is the most important. Like this is literally nothing has meant more to me than this video. Um, should I monetize this? Should I monetize this video? Yeah, fuck it. Like I haven't made hardly any money this past month. So yeah, fuck it. Like anyways. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Like, I'm literally forever in debt to every single one of you. The fact that, I mean, I, I've gone through kind of periods like this, like, spur, like sporadically throughout my channel's history and throughout my, you know, my YouTube journey. Um, and for whatever reason, you guys still stick here. And we, we've had literally this past year of growth is something that I never expected. And I, I feel kind of feel kind of selfish for not capitalizing these last few months because of what you guys have been going through in the quarantine, knowing you need entertainment, and I have failed you, and that's kind of been a, a mental struggle of mine as well. Um, and knowing that you guys are here regardless, but I, I'll promise you that I am going to come out of this better. I'm hopefully going to come out of this more consistent, more driven, more motivated, um, just to become the better, like, just to be a better me in general. Um, I'm going to improve. I'm just going to be a better person, and hopefully that'll translate to the content, because if not, like, because it's fucking sucked the past few months, so I can't get any worse, right? Um, we're gonna cut it there. Uh, I love you guys so much. Just thank you for being there. Like, I know I'm more than likely never gonna come face to face with a lot of you watching this video, but literally from the bottom of my heart, like, if you've just clicked on the video 
watched it, allowed me to live this life. Thank you, and I'm trying my best. I promise you, I'm trying my best to not let you down. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom, for all the F words. I really hope. I really do hope my mom didn't watch this. Like, I, 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 like my dad, like, I don't care. But my mom, I really freaking hope he didn't watch this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Samuel. Hey, man, happy birthday. Wish you could be here enjoying all the festivities, but, you know, I'm here in Hawaii. But enjoy your day, man.
nobody took more time on their test than you. You were always the last one to turn it in because you made sure it was done right. It was a blessing to have you in class then. It's been a blessing to see you grow as a young man and as proud as I am of all your business endeavors. I'm most proud when I see you in pictures of your nieces um, and the legacy that you're leaving with them. So happy birthday. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you, my dog. Buddy, I just want to let you know I'm proud of you, man. Uh, I'm proud of everything you've accomplished. Uh, I'm proud of your focus, your grind. Most importantly, the person you've become. Uh, you're such a selfless, humble, uh, loving, giving person, man. Uh, God, I'm just happy to be able to call you a friend, a childhood friend at that. Um, and, man, when all this is over with, I hope you celebrate, man. You better do it big, man. Uh, happy birthday, buddy. Much love. Man. Sam, what's up, bro? Miss you, man. Love you so much. Uh, I got to tell you happy birthday, bro. I'm so proud of you. Keep killing it, man. I hope I get to see you soon, bro. So much love for you. Happy birthday, man. Hey, Samuel. I just wanted to tell you, you were the most, my most favorite and bestest son ever. You're fantastic. Also, working from home is wonderful. Seriously, I don't think there's any way anybody can have a better son than you. You're absolutely amazing, and I love you so much. Also, corn is good. Oh, and I forgot. Happy birthday. Hey, Samuel. You know how terrible I am in front of the camera. So, just forgive me. Um, first of all, when I think about your birthday, birthday is wishes thing. I think about if I was granted three wishes. Three, because that's my number. My first wish would be that all my friends and family would know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. My second and third wish would be that you and Shelby would find happiness for the rest of your life. Well, nobody's granted me those three wishes, so I can turn those three wishes into prayer. You know, and I can pray those wishes for the rest of my life and to be, you know, I love you and I hope you know that. I'm proud of you and I hope you know that. And since it's your birthday, uh, my wish and my prayer is that you have an amazing happy I 
can't, I can't bear to know how happy that makes me. Um, you are such a blessing. You are such a blessing to everyone in your life, and I don't know to thank you for your blessings and the things you can do, the things you can give, and it's just, it's so, it's just so far beyond just the things you can give from the heart you have, and it's the biggest that I know you have so much to offer, so much love to offer. You are so amazing, Gabriel. And I know that you don't even you don't even realize how amazing I am. I'm so blessed to have you as a brother. I'm so blessed. I am so extremely blessed that you and my girls' lives and the big role that you play in their life as their uncle, their baba, and just you know, kind of rare selfless so love that you have to offer. And you have to offer life. And it's changed my life. My girls' lives, my family's lives, and so many other people's lives. You're a world changer, Samuel. Um, you already have so much more to do. You know, God is working in you in such big ways, and it's just the beginning. And I'm so excited for that. And I know He's going to do like so much more for you, such big things. And I just wish I can make you feel and see yourself half as amazing as I see you. And most of the people see you have changed. So, so many lives. God is working through you to touch so many lives for the better. And if I can just make you feel just a little bit more, a little bit of the amazing God you have today, then I've accomplished it. And I've gone over time. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm your sister. But um, I love you so much. And I'll be really Hey, Samuel. I really hope that all of these videos and shout outs have touched you and I hope that you can feel the love that all of us obviously have for you. Um, I think it's truly a testament to your character listening back to everything that everyone has to say about you. Um, it's so genuine. It's so easy to speak highly of you because of the person you are. I'm so proud to call you my family. I'm so thankful that I've been able to watch you grow up. And I hope you have the best birthday ever today. Love you. Thank you.